Maybe you think it's like 5%, in which case we should burn all GPUs and we really shouldn't be fucking around with this stuff. And if you actually believe that, that should be your, the conclusion that you come to. Or we should like shift the distribution on capabilities versus safety research extremely drastically. What do you do? Uh, I work on geometric deep learning. Generative models. Geometric deep learning for molecular interactions. Optimization applied to game theory and reinforcement learning. The intersection of differential equations and neural networks. A bit of bioinformatics and machine learning. What would change your mind about existential risk from AI? For now, I guess nothing, just because my, my opinion is very in the middle and very, with very wide possibilities. So I don't have a strong opinion, so it cannot be changed. Uh, one is if I find out that alignment is a lot easier than I expected. What do you mean exactly by alignment? Yeah, so by alignment, I mean getting an AI to do things that uh, we intend without sort of really wild consequences. So like, you know, we get an AI to achieve some goal, but like it like misinterprets this goal or finds a loophole in our specification of this goal to achieve something, uh, to do something else. Do you feel like, uh, like, I don't know, Dolly and Stable Diffusion generate images that are kind of what you want? Um, they, they seem kind of aligned. Is that not aligned? I guess in, in my research, I work on things like diffusion models and generative models, which generate potentially, uh, you know, out of distribution things that you haven't seen before. But I think it's also cool because you could kind of expand and augment human capabilities in some ways, um, especially in creative applications. Uh, yeah, so I'm not particularly worried. I think with every new technology, there's always like new risks and new rewards as well. If Adept produced a thing that manipulated the spreadsheets that you want, opened the right links that you want, filtered your email the way that you wanted, and it was generally a useful tool, would you say that this is an indication that alignment is solvable? Do you have any empirical evidence that alignment is hard? Or is it just that if it is hard, we're all fucked? So the evidence is sort of, um, number one, coming from ways that people have tried to formally solve alignment and seeing how that has turned out. Um, number two is just seeing how, like, even with systems we have now, we have small examples of alignment failures that, you know, are kind of easy to fix right now, but it's unclear how easy they'll be to fix as we scale models up. So you have this very, very important belief um, that AI poses an existential risk um, and the evidence for it is, like what led you to believe what you believe? There are many things that have to happen to have this actual existential risk. Like sure, a full, full blown nuclear war between uh, America and, and, and Russia could be very damaging, but what's the probability that we actually get to up to that point? I guess like there's a deep mind, like a uh, nuclear reactor stuff. And I feel that. But is that really AI safety or is that like uh, AI, like did they like program it properly? We've always had social conflict. And it's always involved technology as well. I'm worried about some negative consequences, but there are also many positive consequences and we have to look if the negative consequences outweigh the positive consequences. A lot of things can go wrong. Uh, I think AI, <laughs> well, it's hard to achieve, but it's certainly possible. And maybe people will lose their jobs and maybe human beings will be replaced. I've probably in the camp of more theoretical machine learning and optimization, which it's been accepted to be not have ethical concerns. There's some obvious negative consequences, like if your model generates something undesirable or something unsafe or something like racist or something. That doesn't really matter for current models, right? Uh, or anything. Well, what do you mean? I guess in you could, if you release something willy nilly right now and it's and it it causes problems, that's like maybe good for your cause. Because now we have an obvious empirical example of an alignment failure that convinces people that it's worth worrying about. But today's models are basically harmless, aren't they? You can always say, yeah, there's this interesting thing or this, this would be a super cool technology that we might have. And would also be super cool to have a artificial general intelligence. Do you think there's a non-zero risk? Yes. Of, an, of a current models, just today. Like, and be aware that like, GPT-3 could just, uh, sorry, OpenAI could just like turn off public access to GPT-3 at the drop of a hat. So like, it's not like it'll run wild. Or you think it'll infect somehow AWS machines and replicate itself. I think that there are all sorts of bottlenecks in life systems. I mean, if you look at Google, he cites as an example of a super intelligence and it's, it's hit a scaling factor. And the reason for that is because it's externalized and distributed. It takes a long time to get a pull request done. It takes a long time to get code checked into the, there are bottlenecks everywhere, even with, um, you know, the kind of hardware that we use for computing. There are bottlenecks in creating the silicon and, and distribution and, and so on. So my intuition is, is that there's a there's a scaling bottleneck there. If it reaches a certain point, 
where maybe it can edit its own code, maybe it can um, hack into stuff. From that point onwards, if we let it get there and if we give it like unaligned goals, like something that causes harm to humans while also achieving its goal, things could go very badly very quickly because it might be, might be much smarter than us. I agree that AI is going to totally change society and we might all die as a result of that because we all nuke each other and not because of uh, an AI took over the world. AI taking over the world is the only thing to really worry about. Otherwise, you're the person that arguing we shouldn't have a steam engine. We shouldn't industrialize agriculture. We shouldn't have technological progress because it might fuck everything up. You know, like, and like maybe the year is 1990. You're like, we should stop technological progress or else we'll have a war that kills 50 million people. I mean, you'd be right, but no one's saying we shouldn't, we should have stopped technology in 1850 or something like that. Who's deploying them, really? I mean, cheap, it's cheap. Like, who, who's deploying them, I guess? Who's deploying them? Who's deploying them? Everybody. Okay, but like, I'm not deploying them. So this is clearly like not true. I'm not saying we should stop technological progress. I'm saying we should have a lot more guardrails and verification regimes. When you look at the number of people who are working on making AI better in general, as opposed to keep making AI more safe or working on governance, I think like the concern about stopping progress is kind of off base. So we're arguing about really small percentages, and you're saying we should add some guardrails that still wouldn't get it to zero. It would just make it slightly safer. So unless your claim is that like, oh, these guardrails will make it five times safer and that's enough now it's okay to release it sounds like no matter what the numbers are you'll always be saying we should make it more safe uh no matter how risky it actually is so i think there's a way in which we get to zero um for at least at least, at least from the specific scenario that i took over a uh, global agreement not to build agi until we fully understand intelligence they're gonna regulate it who uh, the government are they well, i thought they were real, i thought they had like the bills and stuff like what Listen, I'm not, okay, Alyssa, don't, don't kill the messenger here, okay? Yeah, I don't read every bill that's on the house floor. Who does, okay? My problem here is that it's all very vague, and it's like, I don't know what you think the risk is. Is it 0.1% or 0.01%? And if internally you've calculated that, and if whether that matters at all, or whether all your actions would be the same no matter what small percentage, but non-zero percentage, you arrive at. It seems like you've come to the conclusion that it's dangerous, and then that's it. There's nothing, nothing's really going to convince you that today's models are safe. Maybe it's a little bit of an uh, echo chamber. Interesting. Yeah, it's spicy, spicy take. Um, in my research, I actually tried to like figure out how to measure alignment so that we actually have signs of how well our models are doing. Um, like, I fully acknowledge that there is a lot of uncertainty in this. Um, I'm not saying, okay, like, let's like burn all the GPUs, right? I think that's kind of like a little too far. I feel like there's like a Mon Bailey going on here. The initial argument was that like, AI poses uh, an existential risk that is greater than 10%. Wait, this isn't my poster, though. Poster, oh, okay. Maybe you think it's like 5%, in which case we should burn all GPUs and we really shouldn't be fucking around with this stuff. And if you actually believe that, that should be your, the conclusion that you come to. Or we should like be, we should shift the distribution on capabilities versus safety research extremely drastically. That should be your position. Or um, like you don't think it's a risk, an X risk, and it's reasonable to say, no, we just should shift the... Do a little bit more safety, do a little bit more guardrails. Like, it feels like there's an inconsistency. I think this is a false dichotomy because, so I think there are two other alternatives. One is, okay, maybe you're not full consequentialist, right? Like, I am not a full consequentialist. Number two, maybe you are full consequentialist, but you think that burning all the GPUs, like actually trying to do that actually is worse for your cause um, than like, you know, oh, yeah. the alternative. I'm talking about like, if you could snap your fingers and all GPUs combusted, not like literally trying to do it. Because obviously we all agree that it's foolish and not going to work. I'm trying to figure out how I feel about X risk. And I was using this conversation to try to get more perspectives. And I didn't think that we got to any cruxes, unfortunately. I, I'm still at the same place, which is like, we should be working more on safety. But I don't know. I have no idea what the risk of existential risk is. Except for I think that today's models seem pretty safe. You should just release them so that you can catch any alignment failures out in the wild. So we can justify more safety research. Um, you could be real. You could be. You could be. You could be you're the this guy is a podcaster, actually. Really? Yeah. Right. The, the inside view. Check it out.